Hi everybody, welcome to my unibrow. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to my channel. Tonight we are doing something super exciting and different and weird. Obviously you can see that by the title of this video. I just got done watching Casey Holmes' new video on applying powder before your foundation and I first saw this on Jackie Ina's channel. I hope that's how you say her name. I will link her channel and Casey's channel, actually their videos down below. And she applied her powder before her foundation and apparently that's something that she usually does. And I have been really curious since I saw that a couple nights ago to try it myself. Well then tonight, Casey posted her video. I literally just watched it like 10 minutes ago. And she tried it and I was like, and try it out myself. I was gonna film tonight anyways. So let's just jump right in and try this out and see what happens, you guys. Now I am filming at night right now, so I can't really like wear this for a long time and let you know how it goes, but I will use this method tomorrow when I put my makeup on so I can wear it all day long and let you know how it works, if it works. But for now, tonight, I just really wanna see, is it gonna make us look cakey? Is it gonna you know, minimize our pores and our texture? Casey says that her pores looked much smaller, so. Let's just see. Why do I keep doing this? Stop. So first, let's jump in with the primer. I'm using the MAC Prep and Prep, the MAC Prep and Prime. And this is just a little, and this is just a little baby sample right here. Oh, this one's almost gone. Can I get some? Hello? Sorry if I'm being really weird. It's like, 10 o'clock at night. Okay, so the next thing that we are supposed to do is apply the powder onto the primer. And I don't think that this primer that I use is supposed to smooth your pores or anything. So there are my pores, if you can see them. The light is really bright, what's this going on? All right, we're gonna jump right in and apply that powder. I'm just gonna bake. So I'm gonna like really go in. So I think the whole idea of this is that it is just supposed to control your oils, uh, fill in your fine lines and pores, and make your makeup look more flawless. Wayne Goss has a video on this as well, but I didn't watch it because I was too excited to just jump right in here and do this, so. <laughs> and I think Casey said that he says in his video that this also helps to add more coverage and um, obviously since it adds more coverage, it's gonna even out the skin tone. So, I mean, it kind of did even out my skin tone just then. So I don't know if I'm supposed to like sweep any of that away, but I'm just gonna go like this and like this, sweep some of that away so we don't have like, you know, a plethora of powder there. Is that the correct word? <laughs> oh, the powder that I'm using is the Cody Airspond Translucent Extra Coverage. I can't show you because there's powder in the lid, so. It's gonna go everywhere. Okay, so the foundation that I'm using is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. Bam, 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 bam. You know what I just thought of? Maybe I should have done one half of my face without powder and one with. Dang it, I really screwed up. All right, so I'm going to use my sponge. Is that gonna work since I just used it for a powder? <laughs> Maybe I should use a brush. Okay, so I don't know if you're gonna like this lighting better or not. I put my camera in front of the light instead of behind it. I felt like I was getting washed out a little bit. Let me know down below what you think of the lighting. Let's continue this blending process. So my thoughts, okay, well, I don't have any thoughts yet because I just started blending again. <laughs> I kind of feel like my skin feels a bit heavy right now. I have to go on with the sponge because honestly, I feel pretty heavy around my pores. I definitely look matte. A little more matte than I usually do with this foundation for sure. So this is what my pores are looking like. Let's just really get up in there, hey. Please be focusing. I think I just sat there for 10 hours, so hopefully it showed my pores. I, hmm, after going in with that sponge, I think it definitely made my pores look um, a little better. I have a feeling this is gonna make me stay matte longer, you guys, honestly. I'd say around the two hour mark, I start to um, see some of my natural oils coming through. So I am gonna try to wear it for at least two hours and just see what happens. But I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. And I don't think this method is gonna be something that is gonna be good to do under your eyes. Especially for me, I have dry under eyes. I like, I almost feel like I don't need to set my face. I mean, I'm definitely gonna set it, it's transferring. One thing I will say is that I think it's a little heavy around like my lips. I think, you know, if I maybe shaved my mustache, <laughs> it wouldn't look 
so uh, cakey right there because what is happening is that powder is clinging to the hairs on my upper lip. And then of course I'm going in with the liquid and it's just looking a little cakey up in there. I guess what we need to just do now is go in and set the rest of our face, put the rest of our makeup on and just see how it goes. Just what I need, more powder. <laughs> okay, so my verdict right now, in some lighting, this looks really heavy. This looks um, almost cakey. I guess I can't say cakey. I have a feeling that in some lighting, once my oils start coming through, then it will start looking cakey. Right now, it just looks heavy. Like when I looked in the lighting in my hallway where I usually do my makeup, it looked heavy. But I'm kind of backlit, which you know isn't really good when you're doing your makeup. Then when I went in my bathroom, in that lighting, my skin looked flawless. My pores were like completely invisible. My skin just looked airbrushed. So I'm gonna get closer and show you guys how my skin looks. And I'm really hoping that everything is gonna focus. I look cross-eyed sometimes when I do this. So I just feel like even the pitted areas and stuff on my cheeks look more smooth. And um, I don't know, maybe it just seems like when I'm under more harsh lighting, that's when it kind of looks a little heavy. So I don't know, you guys. I am definitely 100% matte. I am matte as matte as gonna get. Like literally so matte. I don't think I've ever been this matte in my life. So right now I'd say the verdict is that I'm definitely matte, which I think that's the goal with this uh, method. And my skin looks like it is more smooth. I don't think this is an everyday method to use. I think this is a method you could use when you want your makeup to last a really long time. I wouldn't use this every day. I think that we wrapped everything up. Hopefully I did not miss anything. Um, I mean, you saw it yourself. And I think you can decide based on how my skin looks and maybe how um, other people's skin looks in the videos that they do on this method, um, if you wanna try it or not. It's definitely worth a try. I think, like I said, skin looks flawless. This maybe is a special occasion thing. If it keeps me matte longer, then I definitely think this is something I'm gonna do at least in my T-zone because I have really been struggling to try to find something that's gonna control those oils. And I ordered a ton of matte primers that I'm gonna try. So be on the lookout for some matte primer videos letting you know what is the best for your book. And um, there's lots of other videos coming too. So please subscribe if you haven't already. I don't want you to miss these awesome videos that I got coming for you in the future. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And let me know if there's any other videos that you would like to see in the future. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.